Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. It's part 17 of my 3D printed scrap metal inspired Geiger Alien Xenomorph suit, which all of the parts are custom made and 3D printed to look like those scrap metal sculptures that people do, and it's a costume. So you'll notice I'm rather taller today, and that's because in the last part I built a pair of stilts to stand on while I'm wearing the suit, which I'm wearing now. So uh, we better pan the camera down and have a quick look and see what we've got. So I just get my mic cable out of the way, but basically I made these stilts, which are based on digity grade legs. So basically the aim is that my uh, heel faces upwards and my toe points down, and that's a bit like a dog's leg or something, and basically an animal which walks on its digits. So they're not quite as extreme as some, and they're actually fairly comfortable. I've got shoes bolted to them so that I can stand up, and I would typically walk with my legs bent but I can stand up straight perfectly well if I want and balance really well. So someone commented that they're sloped, so doesn't that push me over? But no more than women's shoes, so that's fine. So uh, today we're going to go and add some details to these so they look more like scrap metal inspired alien feet and hopefully um, do a little bit of working our way up the legs. So here is the CAD for the next parts. So you can see I've added these toes on. Obviously this is the right hand foot, so I don't have anything pointing in the middle to trip me up. I have these toes and I have this big gear piece here, which has actually got a sloped section in to mount the side toe. And the other two are opposites and they've got these clips on for conduit. The eventual aim is to have Ninja Flex kind of toenail claw things on them, which I'm going to put on once I've put this together in real life. So the conduit will run down right into the toes and then it will run up across the foot and eventually there'll be a Ninja Flex rubber 3D printed foot cover which is a bit like a spat or a shoe topper which will cover my brown shoes and the conduit will run into there and all the way up the leg. On the back here I've put a kind of thing like a spur um, which I really wanted to do and um, I've got this sort of pointy piece and I've designed this gear looking thing here. Bearing in mind all of this is designed to look like scrap metal. So um, we get those parts printed, we'll get that part put together I'm pretty sure I walk with flat feet in these, so I'm not too bothered about the toes sticking out. But obviously the um, claws on the end will be rubber anyway in case I kick something. So um, let's get that assembled and then we'll do the next part. Here are most of the parts which I'm going to stick onto the existing stilts. I'm using ABS plastic to print all of these so that it dissolves in acetone and as I've done with the previous parts I can make chemical welds to stick these onto the existing parts. So I better get sticking. I decided my spur parts should go on at different angles so the outside ones are higher than the inside and I've done that obviously so they're mirrored. So um, I think that looks pretty good. Let me get on and stick the toes on. The last outer claws there are just being clamped while the acetone goes off and I suppose we should do something about designing some sort of toenails for it. I need some sort of claw on the end of those because I've designed them with flat tips. So the plan is to make Ninja Flex rubber claws which go on the end. So I've um, done two here in um, this gold colour and obviously there'll be a third one on the third toe. Um, and the plan is that those have a hole in there which allows the conduit to run down through that conduit clip which comes down from the top of the foot and go right into the claw on each one. So obviously those are opposites with a hole on the outside. So these parts have a slot in so I can just glue them onto the uh, ABS part there so I'll have to print these in Ninja Flex with support material uh, which does work quite well and I need to print six of them all together. So I've got five here and I've already taken the support material out of one which I've installed just on here. 
So if we grab that, we can see that it's uh, quite a clean print once the support material's been taken out. And I've got that hole there for the conduit to go through. And I just need to glue those onto the uh, toe pieces there. So um, support material works okay with Ninja Flex. It's extremely tough and quite hard to pull out. So I tend to use pliers. Um, and then it removes quite easily, so it's going to take a while to clean those up. It's a lot easier to get the support material out than it is with rigid pieces, because NinjaFlex is so tough, you don't have to worry about breaking the rest of the piece. So I'll have to strip those down, get rid of the wispy ooze bits. I could have made these cleaner by printing them one at a time. Obviously, I printed all six at once. So there's some ooze where the nozzle has gone from piece to piece. Um, but it took quite a while. I printed quite slow to try and get some good print quality on them. So it took over an hour each. So um, I decided to line them all up on the bed at once, but once they're on the feet, I don't think anyone will notice. So let me strip those down and then we're going to glue them on. Here they are, all cleaned up, and I'm going to use Gorilla Glue to stick those on, which sticks pretty much anything. While that's sticking up, we need to make some shoe covers to cover the brown shoes, and they're going to be these fairly simple shoe shapes, and I've put some sort of ridges across them there, and those are going to be made of Ninja Flex so that we can basically shape them around the shoe and tie them down at the side, which is what the holes are. Now the sets of double holes are to put cable ties through to attach the conduit. So on each one there's three anchor points for conduit, which will come up from the clips on the three toes. Those are printed, here they are, so nice shiny Ninja Flex. Um, I did obviously two of them, one for each foot. One hasn't come out quite so nicely, you can see the top surface is a bit rubbish. Uh, basically these have got low density infill in each rib. Um, this one I went much slower on the top surface, and this one I was printing quite fast, mainly because I was impatient. And obviously the top surface hasn't stuck to the low density infill so well, um, and this one is the really good example. So obviously that fits over the shoe like so, and it's got holes in it as I mentioned so that I can cable tie some conduit on and also tie this shoe um, cover back to the frame. So obviously the conduit runs up from the toe pieces there which are now stuck on, through the clip all the way up and all the way up the shin. So now we need to do something about that. My shins are going to be a section of clips which go up the shin. Um, Alien doesn't have much on its shin apart from its kind of skin and some conduit but I don't want to make them totally blank or make them like shin pads exactly. So I've got these sections which get bigger as they go up the shin, and again there's three clips on the front, two on one side and one on the other side, which holds the conduit that comes all the way up from the toe, over the shoe covers and up the leg. They've also got hooks on each end, and those are to hook onto an, a piece on the back of the shin, on the calf, um, which is going to be a hybrid print with a rigid stick in the middle and some Ninja Flex hooks coming out of it. Here's the piece for the back of the calf. This is going to be a hybrid print with dual extruders, so the blue part is the rigid ABS. So we get this stick that's um, it's quite thin, so it's going to be a little bit flexible, which um, stretches up the back of the calf. And that means it keeps these bands, which are Ninja Flex, it keeps those at the right spacing. So um, that means that they will effectively hold the front of the shin and hold the other ribbed parts at particular spacings. And obviously they'll wrap around the back of the calf because it's made of a flexible rubber material. So let's get all those parts printed out and try and put the whole thing together. That print is well underway. It's done all of the Ninja Flex and now it's working its way up just to do the ABS hooks on top that the conduit goes into. So these are the pieces which are hybrid prints, which are both printed. So they're looking pretty good. Unfortunately, I made them slightly too short to reach all the way around the calf. So um, what I've actually done is attach some cable ties to one side, which will be on the inside, and it also makes them much easier to hook on. Obviously, we've got the clips there for the conduit, and these things can bend round. And they actually grip onto the other pieces, which I've got just here, which you can't quite see, but we'll put that together and uh, try and wear it and walk around and see what it looks like. All right, so here they are. So uh, blue jeans aren't the best clothes to wear. Obviously, I'll have a black skin-tight suit, but I'm not going to wear that without the cod plate, as um, with all of the other costumes that I've made. 
So, uh, yeah, I think I, I feel pretty much like Alien. Obviously I've got these toes sticking out, that means I can't heel to toe as easily, but I think that dinosaurs and things kind of walk sort of like this, so kind of happy, not planning on going too far anyway. Uh, the only thing I've kind of realised is that my spurs might get caught on my tail, but if I crouch and walk enough like an alien they're fairly far apart, and the tail of course is only going to twitch at the bottom, so hopefully it will go straight between them at the top and that will be okay. So on the whole, pretty happy. Uh, I've got quite a lot of flexibility there because of the conduit. So just have a look around the back. Obviously I've got these bits of conduit running here and I was gonna run those down into the heel and I still need um, a bit more Ninja Flex or something to cover the back of this brown shoe. Uh, but I really want the flexibility. There's quite a lot of stretch there. So I'm ending the conduit at the back of my heel there. Obviously I could slot some more in, perhaps a big loop. Um, which would come round and up into the spur or something, that could happen. But um, these are just clipped in for now, so I will be doing more details. Obviously the conduit here doesn't go anywhere, it will go into a knee piece. Um, and then more conduit will come out the top of the knees up the thighs, so in fact these sort of boots are separate and they can be removed. And obviously I've got the uh, row of cable ties down the inside of the leg there. And on the outside, the Ninja Flex is clipped straight onto the 3D printed shin parts. So there we go. So just give a uh, bit of a spin. Feeling quite a lot like I'm a scrap metal inspired alien cowboy type of thing. So yeah, pretty happy with that. So in case you're wondering, these are actually quite practical. Probably going to hang out in them for a bit, maybe drive to the shops and pick up some food in a minute and see what the other shoppers think of them. So uh, yeah, but that's all I've got time for this time. So next time I'm gonna work my way up the thighs or probably from the cob plate down, haven't really decided. I'd really like to be able to wear the suit even though it's not complete yet and there's lots more details to add. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel for updates on this project and other projects. And also don't forget to check out my Patreon crowdfunding campaign at patreon.com xrobots, which is basically how all my projects get funded by my followers.